Welcome to Aero Channel, and welcome back to Sheet Metal Cores. In the previous video, we started to have a look at the sheet metal parameters, the thickness and the band radius. In this video, we are very briefly going to look at the band allowance. All of this stuff we do now is a bit dry and boring, but once this is out of the way, we can start adding some actual features. So what is the band allowance and why do we need it? In a nutshell, the band allowance allows us to accurately calculate how big the sheet of metal will be when all of the bands are unfolded. If we think about it, when the metal is bent, the total size of it is A, which is the length of the base flange, plus B, which is the length of the edge flange, plus the size of the actual band itself. And that is the band allowance, but depending on how measure this, we might get different values at the end. If we measure the inside here, then we'll get a different value to measuring along the outside here. SolidWorks has got loads of different options to choose for band allowance. And if you're not really sure what you're doing here, then I'd recommend that you just stay with this one. The K factor. If we look at a cross section of a band like this, whenever you bend apart, there's always gonna be some material inside that gets compressed on the inside on the band. And then on the outside of the band, there's gonna be some material that gets stretched. At some point, there will be an area where the compression and the stretching exactly cancel each other out, and there's no change in size. The K factor is an imaginary line through a cross section of our band where there is no stretching and no compression. So if we measure along that line, then it should give us the exact size of the unfolding parts that we need. The K factor is a ratio, so it's always between 0 and 1. 0 is the very inside of our band, and 1 is the very outside. So 0 0.5 is halfway through the cross section. So if you're not sure which of these to use, I'd recommend just staying with the K factor and using 0 0.5 and that should get us pretty close to where we need to be. We can also ask our manufacturer for value, and they should be able to give us a number to put in there. And the good thing is that we can very easily change this at any point in our model, and it will be applied throughout the whole model. There are some other options here. The band allowance allows us to actually define the length of that band region. But because we can put in any value, if we put in something wrong, then we could end up with results that are total garbage. The band deduction is sort of similar. It measures the outside size of the part, and then it removes a value from that. So if we are not using 90 degree bands, then this can get quite complicated. We can also use a band table or band calculation. But if we are not really sure what we are doing here, then just stick with the K factor and leave it at 0.5. Now, to finish off the video, we'll just have a quick look at auto relief. Auto relief is a way of automatically adding relief cuts when they are needed on bands. So if I just exit the sheet metal feature and quickly adjust this edge flange to make it a bit thinner, press OK. Now we've got this automatic cuts on the side of the pen. These cuts are the relief cuts. And if we look from the top, we can see we've got one on each side. These are needed for every type of band, but hopefully we can see why they are needed in this case to allow that band to be formed properly. These cuts here are just the basic standard rectangular cut, and the width of the cut here is related to the thickness of the sheet. If we use the measure tool and measure the width of the cut, we can see it's half a millimeter. And then if we measure the sheet, it's one millimeter. So if I now go back and edit the sheet metal folder, we can see on the auto relief we've got rectangular, so that's why it was a rectangular cut. And then for the ratio we've got 0.5. So that means because our sheet was 1mm thick, then the width of the auto relief cut will be half of that, which was half a millimeter. There's also a few different options here. All brown is quite similar to rectangular, but it just gives us this rounded inside edge. And then the other one is called tear. This basically tears the metal, and it's the minimum that you need to do to be able to flatten the part in SOLIDWORKS. So I'd recommend just sticking with rectangular or all brown, because they're the least likely to give you any issues when bending. So to quickly recap this video, we looked at some more of the sheet metal properties that apply throughout the whole model. The first was the band allowance, and this allows us to work out the size of the flat part when all of the bands are flattened. 
there's a lot of different options and if you're not really sure which one to use then just go with the k factor and either put in a number that our manufacturer gives us or just stick with 0.5 which should get us pretty close and then finally the bend relief down here just adds small cuts when these are needed for our bends we can choose different types of cuts we can set the size using the ratio here in the next video we'll have a short look at some of the other base flange options Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you like, hope it can be a little helpful and useful.